what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so going to be talking about a few upcoming things we can expect potentially from screen 5 and an upcoming nev campbell interview or something with nev campbell regarding screen 5 is coming up but david arquette recently sat down with yahoo the past couple of days a few days ago and he talked about screen 5 and how it felt to go back into the swing of things going back and channeling dewey how they're very uh nostalgic to be back in the swing of things and how they miss Wes Craven he also gave us some tidbits of what we could expect regarding Ghostface he teased that we could be seeing some technological advances from Ghostface um not sure what that means I I know what specific Ghostface I'm thinking of when I hear about technological advances but he gave like a brief description he didn't really go into too much detail but we can just speculate from what he said he said that there's some great things about Ghostface and his costume. There's more technological advances you can use now. And the fabric we have in this one is probably a little more advanced than the fabric they had when we first did it. I'm really excited for it and for the fans. Now, I'm not really too sure what this could mean. Technological advances. Um, to the best of my knowledge, I know that we have apparently technology that allows you to have like sensors in your clothing you can communicate to your cell phone through the fabric i've i have no such thing in my closet never seen anyone with it i've seen a lot of articles about how they're making they're doing they're implementing things that allow you to be able to control smart devices through sensors and other things that have, that are being put into certain fabrics maybe that's what we'll see from ghostface uh Another thing he could be talking about is just how we could be seeing a lot of just updated things from Ghostface, given that we're in 2020, probably in this movie. It's probably going to be set in 2020, 2019, somewhere around that. And, you know, we have iPads, MacBooks, we have smart TVs, smart security alarm systems, all of these things that could potentially be utilized by ghostface now it's not just going to be a simple phone call anymore we're going to see so many different things and then the fabric part of it um when i heard him talking about the fabric we have in this one is probably a little bit more advanced i'm thinking about roman roman didn't necessarily have updated fabric he had a bulletproof vest under his fabric could this ghostface costume this robe this time around be entirely bulletproof i wouldn't say i'm opposed to it depending on how it's utilized on screen i think it could come, it could come off a little cartoonish uh but a lot of people already think screen three is cartoonish as it as it is but i don't i don't really know what he's talking about when he says that we're gonna we're gonna have all these new updates with ghostface in terms of his costume and he has new tricks up his sleeve um i'm not expecting him to have like anything shooting out from under his under his wrist or shooting things from his mask or anything like that or shooting things from the bottom of his feet i'm not expecting anything over the top like that and again depending on how they do it if they do those things it all depends on how it comes off on screen how is it executed how is it portrayed i just feel like going too far and beyond what we've seen before could lead to a lot of backlash uh while it is yes possible now it might feel a little out of place given that we haven't seen this from ghostface in the past i don't know i just that's just me how i think that could come across depending on how it's done if they decide to implement like a little too much from ghostface so for instance uh jeepers creepers 3 the whole thing with the creepers truck i do not want to see anything like that from screen 5 i don't think we will uh but it also has me a little bit worried i don't know what they're gonna do i we have to wait and see what they mean or what he's actually referring to when he's talking about all these advances and these new tricks ghostface has because the only thing i can think of is the utilization of social media text messaging video chatting going beyond phone calls now uh potential hacking maybe more bulletproof uh may maybe more bu bulletproof things that he has up up in his uh repertoire so many different things that are running through my mind i just hope it's not something that's very cartoonish and comical but or nothing too over the top i don't want to see anything like that but let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section what advances do you think we're going to see from ghostface what do you think david arquette really is talking about um let me know all of that down in the comment section below and then jumping into something else nev campbell has an interview coming up she will be doing something to promote screen 2022 
as it's pointed out in the magazine cover we're all probably going to just call it scream 5 i'm not going to call this movie scream 2022 i'm not going to call scream scream 1996 however many movies they make they're they're not retconning anything yet so i'm going to keep calling these subsequent sequels five six seven eight nine ten this is not like halloween i don't have to call screen five screen 2022 i don't think anyone else should call it that either yeah that's what the movie's officially titled it's just titled scream but it's the fifth film but here's the magazine cover that i was referencing we seem to be getting something regarding nev campbell look in the bottom left corner i apologize if this is too small it's in the bottom left corner you see nev campbell on scream 2022 so something from total film a potentially new interview is coming out from them regarding nev campbell and her discussing something about scream 5 that's what i'm speculating or it could just be nev campbell sitting down reminiscing on that letter that she loves to talk about so much or it could be nev campbell or it could be like a first look at nev campbell in screen five back in the role of sydney prescott this could be our first look at how sydney looks in the film we've already seen that really from kevin williamson when he shared that image when production had officially wrapped and he announced the official title on his twitter page um i don't think it's going to be a, a new image of sydney prescott in screen five if it is it is i don't have a problem with that I just think that given we've already had that, I think it's just going to be an interview where she probably goes in a little bit more detail about what Sydney's life could be like in Screen 5, what we could expect from the character and how probably how much the character means to her and what it's done for her career and how that's basically what she's most known for outside of, of course, her work with uh, The Craft and her other projects. She's most no known for her role as Sydney Prescott in the Screen franchise. I just think she'll probably sit down and tell us a little bit about what we can expect from Sydney in Screen 5. She'll probably, hopefully her wording, I hope she can confirm that we're gonna be transitioning away from her in a bit and it's gonna be more on the Carpenters and I hope she is able to disclose that, but we'll know concrete what is happening once this magazine is released and there's no date on when it is getting released so if anyone knows when that magazine is coming out everyone who knows about this if you saw a date on when this is coming out definitely let me know down in the comment section below i did not see anything telling us when it was going to come out but i just think nev campbell's probably just going to do a sit down talk about what we can expect from sydney prescott where she's at in her life in the upcoming film and how she probably ends up coming back to woodsboro then that'll lead to us speculating even more of as we always do but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video